Welcome to the Flaming Greek, the hottest cooking show on the planet. Watch the hilarious duo cooking up adventure with the help of the torch. <laughs> Watch the Flaming Greek and Cammy on Foodie TV. www.theflaminggreek.com. Welcome to the Flaming Greek, the hottest cooking show on the planet. I'm Cami, and this is the Greek. What are we cooking today? Today we're going to do a tuna melt. Is what we're going to do, and um, I'm going to fire up this torch, get this pan hot, and we're going to start with the pita over here. So, I'll tell you, we got some cheddar cheese, some albacore tuna, olive oil, some tomatoes, some pepperoni, oregano, and some um, chili olive oil here, as well as some feta. So we're going to start. Off with um, getting this pan on. Fire it up. Fire it up. You like that? This pan's just as hot as you are. Oh. I'm going to give you the honors. Okay. What am I doing? You're going to take this brush and you're going Painting? to. Painting? Yep. You're going to Sweet. paint it just like you. Paint a house. Like that? Am I painting the whole, like, back of... Yep. And then you can flip it over. And right hit it back. once over there, too. Mm -hmm. and do you want this in the pan? Yep. Just throw that on the pan, please. Okay. Get that nice and toasty. Now this uh, olive oil helps with it crisping or getting a little crispy on the outside? Yes, it does. Nice and crispy. And watch it because it goes quick. Can't keep your eyes off of it? Nope. All right. So what's new in your life? Nothing much. Nothing, nothing interesting. Much. No, nothing exciting. No boyfriends or anything you dump lately? No. You feed the food. You feed the food. Smoke food. Alright. Take this and just put this on the plate for now. And stick that over there. And get this one. Now you know there's all different types of pita. You can get the whole wheat, you can get the plain, everything they got on you. But whatever you like, they got out there. Whatever floats your boat. You can use butter instead of olive oil. So you can change it up any way that you want to change it up. Now what What do you have the flame on? Low or medium? I got this on low because it's going to, you can feel it. Yeah, it's, it cooks pretty fast. It's kind of like um, pizza crust. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. That was well, it ain't Wonder Bread. <laughs> All right, so we'll get that hot again. Mm -hmm. Tuna? Um, you know, not really. <laughs> well, do you know that there's two different types of tunas? No, I did not. There's two different types of tuna. You have the abacore, which is white, and you have the chunk light. And which kind are we using? We're using the chunk light because it's um, more moist. Okay. And then usually the white tends to be dry. All right, so we're going to fire up these onions. You want to use your olive oil? I don't mind. All right, so just a little olive oil for the audience. Once again, you can use butter margarine, onions, and just lightly fry them. There's always something about onions. Smell good. I think you're weird. Yeah. 
Well, I don't think onions. You don't like onions? No way. All right, so I'm getting these onions nice and crispy. It's the quick way of doing things. Now I'm going to take the um, tuna, tuna in there. How do you know when the tuna is uh, done? When it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good That's why it's called um, a tuna melt. Ah. We'll melt the cheese on it. We got, no, we got to put a lot of cheese on that because I love cheese. You know, we'll cheese. torch the cheese when we're done. Okay, like a little bit more torch. <laughs> Fast yeah, food made my right. eyelashes are melting off my face. I'm like there. a Picasso painting. Right. So really, you, you know, you don't want to burn the tuna. So we're going to take this. I'm going to put this in here. I am going to do both, and then at the end, what I'll do is take some cheese, and I'll put it on top and I'll torch it. Oh, nice. And that's okay. where we're going to get our tuna. Milk. Now, what I'm going to do is, is that we have some um, pepperoni here. I'm going to take a little pepperoni, take a wine. little oregano, a little wine, mm -hmm. and I'm going to sweat this um, pepperoni. I'm going to steal some of this because I know this is for my salad. I love pepperoni. But it's spicy. Pepperoni. As soon as I get done with the pepperoni, you can have a piece. I love it. Oof. Wow. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting well, that to go herbs, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Don't do that at home. Don't do that at home. No. It's still going everywhere. Let's see what it's doing. It's, pu it's putting all the herbs it's in the air. And yeah. they're like little fire flames, embers coming down. It's raining. We're talking about sweating it out. It sweat out pretty quick. All right, so we're done with that. So I'll take this and put this in with the tuna. All right, remember we have this. So let's just reheat this for a second. Get that hot. See, I'm impatient. That's why I got to do everything fast. Well, it works out. It works out. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 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 All right, that's good enough for me. Then what do you do next? You put all the stuff inside. I'm going to take some of this. Mix it up a bit. A little of that the pepperoni on there. Fantastic. It smells like fish. It smells like fish. It smells like fish. So we're going to take some tomatoes, put them on top. Now, do you prefer regular tomatoes or does it matter? Just I like them ripe like that. That's like buying and ripening. They're not gas. Not you know, like sweet tomatoes or. Yeah, sweet tomatoes good. Even if you got sun dried tomatoes. Everybody out there, sun dried tomatoes. It's all healthy stuff. Do whatever you want to do. All right, you want to make one? I would love to. Let's get this over here for a second. Right, just move that. Have at it, girl. So I just, so I put the stuff in before I throw it on? I just want to see what you do. You can make a mess if you want to make a mess. You put it in the pan first? I'm not sure. Let's just go with the flow. Just stick okay. it on there. I'm going to go with the flow. Okay. I like this oil. It's spicy. That's the, um, what is yeah, it called, garlic stuff? No, chili. Chili. Yeah, chili peppers in there. Chili. So you could buy this stuff or else you could make it. Right. Sure. Put it right in there. All right, you want a few tomatoes? Jump right in there. A few tomatoes. Just dress it up the way you want to dress it up. Throw it, just throw it on top? Sure, just throw it on top. <laughs> and then we'll do the torch. It's just don't want to. It's still in good shape. 
going to keep filing stuff in there. Is that nice? That is really cool. It's better than microwave. And you have a tuna melt. Now you can take that and fold that over. Oh. It's pretty hot still. So All right, so we'll just let that sit. Let's go for the second one here. Olive oil That's will help it burn pretty fast, right? Or does it prevent the fire? What is it? No, I like the taste. I like the taste on it. Right, here we go. Ooh. Slow melt. Slow melted. Way more cheese. Yeah, you need way more cheese. Just oh, throw looks the like whole a pizza. entire thing on there. Just throw the whole thing, all of it. Yeah, just dump it on there. That's that's what I'm talking about. Now that's good stuff right there. And there you have it. Let's throw this on the plate. And then you fold them over. Am yeah, if you want to fold it over like really a year out. Oh, but I love its little face. It looks so happy. I'm well, it's not going to be happy. You're going to eat it. Uh, I'm not sure. It's still really hot. What do you have here? Rock salt? Sea salt? Um, it is garlic sea salt. Wow. Really good. I think I might actually throw some pepper on mine too because I like, I like salt and pepper. And a little um, garlic sea salt. I think I'll give it a nice boost. How bad is that? Yum, yum. So what do you think? I think um, I'm ready to eat it, but I just need to fold it first, but it's so full, I don't know. Well, let's let it cool down. So there we have it. We have um, tuna melts. What we're going to do is get cleaned up, and um, we'll be right back. Excellent. I'm going to put mine over here. We're back. Hello. Hello, how are you? So you ready for this um, tomato salad? I love tomatoes, so absolutely I'm ready for this tomato The salad. rumor is she likes tomatoes. And cheese. And because you don't like really anything else. So we're gonna go with this. We get a bowl here. We're gonna throw the tomatoes in. This is like simple stuff. Super Anybody simple. Anybody can do this at home. Got a little oregano. My dog can do this. My dog can do this as well. We got a little onions. You know, this I'm going to do something a little different. Because what I'm going to do is, is that I'm just going to put a little char on these onions. Something Chazzy different. Chazzy onions. Only because the torch is readily available. Chazzy onions. Yeah, do them all, right? Yeah, why not? <laughs> so we're just going to make these sweat. Okay, make the onions sweat. Yeah. Uh, never heard that before. We're going to sweat. I'll show you how to sweat. Sweat the onions. Actually, I just want to brown them. I don't know. Eric, your turn. Oh, wait, I don't like to do just it. Just hold it down that way. Don't point it at me. All right, you're, you're, you're done. All right, so these I are done to too. The just stick them in there. All right, so basically we're having a hot tomato salad. A hot tomato salad? hot tomato salad. Why? Is it because of the chili stuff? No, it's because the onions are hot. <laughs> All right. We got oregano. We got some of this chili olive oil. That's why it's hot. And balsamic. You know, balsamic comes in sweet. This is sweet. It's a little sweet, a little spicy. You like balsamic? Uh, no. All right. You're going to eat this stuff. <laughs> and a little fat. But I'm going to eat it anyway. <laughs> Here, you get the honest. Mix this up. Oh, dang. Okay. All right, so while you're mixing that is up there. Is this feta cheese? 
That's feta cheese. Ah. And. Oh, it smells good. A little sea salt. You got some garlic, some sea I'm salt there? Put, will you put any pepper on it? Sure. Still the pepper on there? Maybe a little bit of your wine. Yes. Thank you. How girly is this with a straw? <laughs> Touch it really yeah. stick. It's fancy. It's not girly, it's fancy. What is that? It's, it's blueberry. Blueberry wine. Blueberry wine. All right. Not my taste, but. All right, you mix that up. How do I know up. that it's pretty mixed? Should I let the tomatoes soak the, the juices? It's really better that way. Because I think maybe it should sit for a couple minutes to soak in all the juices. Yes, it's got to sit to soak in some juices. So while sitting doing some juices, what I'm going to do is jump on over to our um, scallops. So we have some scallops here. Very small. They come in all different sizes. So I'm going to throw some butter in here. Pan's nice and hot. And we're going to sear the scallops. Ooh. Let that sit there. You know something, because I feel like something sweet. Let me just have that wine for a second. And what I want to do is just put a wee little bit, because they say if you can drink it, you can cook with it. But if you can't cook with it, there you go. Blueberry. Blueberry. Blueberry scallops. I think we're, we're on to something here. Yes. We're on to something creative. It smells good. I mean, it is because it's not fishy. It's fresh. It ain't and fishy. Remember, it's fresh. It is. Part of your first. You get anything from the um, supermarket that smells like fish, you're rid of it. You don't want to eat it. No, because it's usually two, three, four days old. Uh, oh, so really? Clean this up. Either that, or they just pulled it right from the ocean and wash it. No, because it doesn't have that smell when when it's fresh. fresh well, fresh then how come when I go smell? into a place like a soup, like a like a grocery store, or like a like a restaurant, and they, I smell like the fish that it smells like gross? Because it's three or four days old. So it's just setting them. It's still edible. It's like the French. The French, you know, they came up with all those sauces because back in the day there was no refrigeration. They had to cover up the taste of the actual food. That's why there's heavy creams and butters. It's all good, but that's why the meats are so tender. All right, so I got that going. Now, to thicken it up, I got some breadcrumbs. Which is a trick I learned, and I am really glad I learned that from you because that is super cool. That cornstarch, you could even microwave potatoes, like mashed potatoes, mash them up, throw them in. Starch. All right, voila. A little fresh oregano. Oh, that looks kind of cool. And we have a garlic Paste. Looks almost like um, <laughs> peanut butter. I like garlic, it does. I'm gonna stick it all in there. Matter of fact, you had some of that yesterday. I did, and it was not bad at all. And some lemon juice. Some fresh lemon juice, nice. Yeah. So sweet and tasty. <laughs> you know what that sounded like to me? Is that Borat guy. Remember Borat? It's nice, I like. It's good, it's I it's like good. it. It tastes like home country. <laughs> Nice. And I think I have some vinegar. Oh, I think that was like apple cider. Ooh, we're making a new yeah. <laughs> ingredient. Here, now let me just heat this up a bit. How am I doing? I'm burning. Isn't it hot in here? <laughs> Did you ever think you'd be on a cooking show? You know what? No, I've never. Never in my life would I ever. But I like new things, so we're trying new things. That's the, that's the fun part. Here, you put a picky eater on a cooking show and see what happens. A little thicker. Mm. It is. So I will apparently eat everything. So. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to get ready to plate this up. Chickpeas. It does. You're but absolutely I, right. But it I does. can't be fooled. I know it's scallops. Just garnish it a little more. And some Parmesan cheese. 
I know you're a cheese freak. Put a little cheese on there. You like any type of cheese? Parmesan? I think it's Parmesan. There's not really good by it, though. It's aged. It's great. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Oh. I like cheese. Oh, it's not cheese. <laughs> All right, well that looks really good. We're gonna get cleaned up and we're gonna be right back. We're gonna make our dish the Royal Tilapia. All right, so we're back and what we're gonna be doing is some tilapia. And this is kind of like a one pot cooking because it's kind of like pot luck. Everything is going into the pan. All right, it's gonna have delicious broth as well. So let me just heat up this um, pan again. Fire it. Fire it. Fire it. Fire in a hole. I could probably help. Yeah, you first. <laughs> Honey, you're supposed to do the pan. Oh, okay. All right. My turn. Okay, okay. Here, hold that. I don't know. Like the Statue of Liberty. Over there. There you go. All right, so we're gonna get a little olive oil. Pan's nice and hot. I'm just Statue the Statue of Liberty. Liberty. Yeah. All right. Now you could do this a couple ways. You could bread it, optional if you want. But we're just gonna do this plain. Plain grain. Always salt afterwards because you never know how this is gonna turn out beforehand, so you don't want to over salt it. But I will use some of that pepper. Excuse my reach. Black pepper. Pepper is, yeah. Pepper. All right, so let's just get this hot. So for those who don't know, because I definitely don't know, what the heck tilapia even is? What is it? It's a fish. <laughs> what, what kind? You said, uh, uh, like... It's, it, it's a white fish, and it's usually, it's popular. It's usually farm-raised fish. I mean, what kind of, like a fish farm? Is uh, it? Yeah, but it's kind of like, to me, it's kind of like cod. Like okay. codfish. Okay. It, it's mild. It's not fishy. It's not overbearing. So it's recommended for the people who don't usually eat fish. Or want to try out to start to eat fish, because I'm not a fish eater, so it would be a recommended... I think that all fish is good as long as it's not fish. For a piggy eater like my thumb. Yeah, so but you like, right? yeah, it is. So this is good with garlic. So we're gonna throw a little garlic paste in here. But what I'm gonna do is brush this. Brush it with the garlic. Brush it with a little garlic. <laughs> Just get it on there. You put it on there heavy because it's gonna burn off. Use it all up. And we have a little oregano. Lightly put it on there. And we have a little basil. A little bit of everything. Yep. Watch your heat. You don't want anything sticking on the pan. So like low to medium heat? Low to medium heat. And listen, I think it needs a torch. I think it needs a torch. Great. Did I turn the torch too much? No, it's all right. All right, so what I'm gonna do is add a little lemon juice to this now. So it doesn't stick to the pan. We're gonna use water too. I got my spatula and we're gonna flip this. Tilapia. Tilapia. So nice. All right. Listen, let me have that torch for a second. Yeah. One more time. Powerful tools.
All right. All right, got a couple onions, some tomatoes, some more basil, might as well use the rest of this olive oil. There you go. Nice. This is just about done. We're going to plate up, clean up, and we'll be back. Okay, well, we're cleaned up, we're back, and we plated everything up, and what do you think? I think it all looks really good. It looks really delicious, even though I'm not a huge fan of fish, but I think for the first time, I will try the Try tilapia? I am shocked. Hello. All right, we're gonna hit that. Just right, I'm just gonna it. cut a really small piece. You don't mind if I try it, do you? Yeah, you're the one who cooked I like, it. I like these herbs. Not bad. I still don't like fish. <laughs> well, so. Take it's, it from me, the Greek, it's good. It's good, but I'm not a fan of fish. All right. So, what I think you're really going to like is going to be this. Yeah, I will, that looks good. We're going to treat this like a pizza. Now this is tuna. Tell me what you think about that. Yoki. And I'll tell you what I think about it. Very easy to make at home. It's just a spin on a tuna fish sandwich. That's not bad. That's not bad. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. I'm Cammie and this is The Greek. Till next time. For a copy of any of the recipes that you've seen on today's program, please purchase the Flaming Greek and Kami Cookbook, a delightful, colorful page photo coffee table cookbook that will have you and your family enjoying these recipes in the convenience of your own home. Cook with the Flaming Greek. To purchase the cookbook, log on to theflaminggreek.com. The price is $44.95 plus shipping and handling. Offer made by the Flaming Greek Production.